We wear fragrances for ourselves, for our partner, and for compliments. I don't care what y'all say. It's nothing like getting a compliment on your fragrance. What? On today's video, I'm going to be sharing my most complimented fragrances of 2022. Now, this is the designer slash celebrity list. These are some fragrances that I've really been wearing all 2022, and these are the most complimented for the designer list. I'm going to do a niche list, but today is going to be the designer. And if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and keep on watching. This is in no particular order. The first fragrance is one from Chloe, and it is Nomad. I can't stress this enough, you guys. Chloe Nomad is amazing. Uh, this is one of the most unique um, designer fragrances that I have in my collection, and I know I say that a lot, but you guys gotta remember that we do have new followers every single day, new cherry bombs, so I have to repeat myself sometimes, but just saying that for the OGs so y'all don't get a little upset at me, but I love this. This has the prettiest floral notes in there. It has peach at the top. To me, this smells very unique. It smells very like tangy. Um, and it always gives me the compliments, y'all. Every single time I wear this, it gets the compliments and the compliments are coming from men. And it's one thing to get complimented by a female because it's easier to get complimented by a female. Let me just say that. But men, for them to stop what they're doing and just give you a compliment and say, hey man, you smell really nice. That's not easy to get, believe it or not. But this right here always get me the compliments. No matter how many times I wear it throughout the whole week, at least once. I'll get a compliment from a man and a woman. Of course, the ladies love this one on me. Whenever I tell somebody what I'm wearing, they're like, no mod from who? Chloe? Chloe makes fragrances? I'm like, yeah. Oh, I've smelled Chloe fragrances, but I don't like it. Smell no mod. You'll love it. This right here, I love. It always gets me the compliments and I just can't get enough of it. It takes me to a place where I feel very comfortable and very confident. And I'm not saying that it makes me confident because of the compliments, but I definitely felt very confident wearing this because it just it just gives off very classy and elegant and I love that. I love that vibe, period. The next most complimented fragrance in my collection is my go-to date night fragrance. And I always get complimented by my husband, number one, but I always get complimented by other people as well. Whenever I'm on dates, if I'm going to the restroom, washing my hands to powder up, females are always complimenting me on this. Men are always complimenting me on this. And it is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I love this fragrance. It's like a beautiful, juicy pear at the top. Then you get florals, you get vanilla, you get vetiver. This right here, you can never really go wrong with it because it is such a crowd pleasing scent but at the same time it's not crowd pleasing it is very different because usually people say crowd pleasing to let you know that it's just basic and eh, there's nothing special to me i don't care how many people wear it if i like it i'm gonna wear it and i'm gonna wear it different and this is definitely one that is crowd pleasing in a good way and it's also very different enough for you to stand out in a crowd. So if you're looking for that type of vibe, then this one is it. It's super long lasting and this is the original. This is the EDP, there's an EDT and there's also a Le Parfum and they say that thing lasts for years. This one lasts a good 10 hours. So if you're looking for that type of vibe, then this one is definitely that. I love it and it's gonna be in the rotation this whole year. This next one is one that I was wearing, but towards the end of the year, I don't know why. I don't know why I took so long to wear this, but I really been enjoying this fragrance towards the end of last year. 2022 has been a year for sure. And I was enjoying this towards the end of the year and it was making all the lists. But for me personally, I grabbed it around October and I put a dent in this fragrance, y'all. I don't know if y'all could see, but there's a slight dent in there because I wasn't using this bottle. I was using the smaller bottle, but then I was like, let me just leave the smaller bottle for when I travel and this for like everyday use. Wore it to bed and it lasts so long. I wear it out. I wear it to like little dates or if me and my husband are running errands, I wear it. This is so, so good. Like, oh my God, you guys. It is so freaking good. It is so juicy and fruity, but at the same time, it has a nice underline of warmth in it. It has bourbon vanilla, it has jasmine, and jasmine is always sexy in a fragrance period. This is that. This is so pretty and it does stand out a little bit more from more of the mainstream fragrances, but it doesn't stray away from it too much because it does have those touches. If you're looking for a nice, a solid designer fragrance that's gonna get you the compliment, that's gonna last all day, and that's gonna be pleasing to the nose, definitely 
check out Born Aroma. Now this next one is discontinued, but I cannot make this video without adding this one to the list. It's from Burberry and it is Burberry Her Intense. I've gotta say this was my favorite Burberry. Out of all the Burberries, this was my favorite, but because it is discontinued, I am taking the favorite hat and putting it on the Elixir only because I can't find this anymore. And the Elixir is a little bit more creamy and sexy, but this is what I was wearing all 2022 before the elixir came out and y'all i was getting the compliments every single time i wear it people are always saying that i smell so fruity and so pretty if you're looking for something fruity creamy sexy and perfect for date night that's gonna get you the compliments definitely check out burberry her elixir because you won't be able to find the intense anymore and i kind of wish that i got the bigger bottle but I already bought the small one, so, and it's hard to find now. I could only find the small one. I can't find the big one, but I already have the Elixir, so I am perfect with that. But this is one that got me the compliments, and specifically from men. They seem to love sweet and decadent fragrances, and this one was definitely a fruity floral gourmand that I enjoyed. This next fragrance is a celebrity scent, and you guys have seen it, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. If you would like to see more of this fragrance, just check back on my old videos. But this one is Eilish. All I can say is red berries, it's a little bit of rose, sugar, cacao. Perfect. This is so sweet, so delicious, so mouth watering. I wore this for date night and I wore it out just for quick errands. And every single time I wear it, whether it's my husband, whether it's my friend, cashier at Ulta, whether it's the, the waiter at the restaurant that we're at, I always get compliments with this one. People are always saying that I smell good. If you wear fragrances for compliments, I don't want to hear it at all, you guys. We wear fragrances for ourselves, for our partner, and for compliments. I don't care what y'all say. It's nothing like getting a compliment on your fragrance. What? I know a lot of people that don't wear fragrances because they didn't get compliments on it. Now, I wouldn't do that because I wear my fragrances for me first, but every single time I wear this fragrance, it just garners compliments. And if you're that type of person that wears fragrances, for compliments and definitely get this one because it would never fail this next one is one that i loved y'all i still love it but it just every single time i think about this fragrance it brings me back to a time where i felt so lonely and i felt so lost and i didn't know where my life was going i felt stuck and every single time i would wear this fragrance it uplifted me it didn't fix the issues but it definitely helped me go through it smoothly this was my fragrance that i used to wear to bed almost every single night it's from ysl and it is Lieb EDT. Y'all, this literally brought me through 2022. Let's just say that because there was some dark times in 2022, you guys. Y'all know I lost my dad. So every so often, it just hits me. In 2022, I had a lot of big opportunities opportunities um, that happened in my life, in my career, and I would have loved to share it with both of my parents, but I couldn't. So during those hard times, this fragrance really came through. It has a beautiful lavender in it, and it has some citruses in there. It's brightening. It's very calming. Think about it. Take a shower, wear your favorite lounge set, and then spray this all over your skin. It puts you in that space of clarity. It puts you in that space of being calm and collected, and it brings you back together. This is what I love about this fragrance. A lot of people wear fragrances just to smell good, but I look past that because if that's the case, I can just wear anything in my collection. But you have to do something to me, and this fragrance does something to me. And if you're that type of person that wears a fragrance that does something to you, not only because it smells good, but you do it because there's more meaning behind a fragrance. Go ahead and hit that like button because you're in my type of cherry bomb, okay? Like this fragrance did that for me. And when I did decide to finally wear it out, the compliments y'all was out of this world. <laughs> it is so good. Honestly, my favorite out of the whole entire Libre line. If you're looking for one that is easy going, this is it. If Libre EDP is your signature scent, and there's days that you want to wear a Libre EDP, but you just feel like it's too strong, add Libre EDT to your collection. You'll thank me later. This next fragrance is one that I wore specifically for weddings only. If I was the wedding guest, I wore it. If I was going to a wedding party, I wore it because it just put me in that mindset of love. And it's from Carolina Herrera, and it is very good girl. 
Now, throughout 2022, I had a lot of weddings, a lot of bridal showers, baby showers, whatever have you. I had a lot of those. And the fragrance that I just kept pulling for was Very Good Girl. Why? Because it's a bright, citrusy, sweet, rosy fragrance. It reminds me of Delina, but it's Delina mixed with Good Girl. It's not a complete dupe. It's not even, I wouldn't even call it a dupe, but they are cousins, okay? So if you like Delina, definitely check out Very Good Girl for everyday use. If you have Delina in your collection and you want to use Del Delina for special occasions, then definitely get this one because it is good. Every time I wear this, I always get huge, huge compliments. Like people just keep coming back for more. I remember the first time I wore this was to a wedding and the DJ just kept asking for more. Like he kept complimenting me every single time he I passed by him to the point that he told me to write it down because he needed to get it for his wife. This is like a magnet. Uh, men really love it. It'll make a woman hate you because her husband's gonna be like, wow, you smell good. So if you're looking for that vibe, not the husband part, but if you're just looking for good compliments, <laughs> this will definitely get you all the compliments. Now definitely test out all these fragrances before you buy them because Blind buying is not a good thing. Unless you know your notes, it's not a good thing to do because you can get yourself into a rabbit hole. Because if you do like three good blind buys and then you go and do seven more because you knew that the three good ones was good, you could potentially mess up and you know have seven bad fragrances. So definitely test out before you um, buy unless you're really good with notes and you know exactly what you want. Even then, sometimes fragrances surprises me too. So definitely test out. The next fragrance is one that I wore for date night as well. And I also wear it for special occasions. Occasions. It's one from Lancome and it is Lani Trezor. And this is the OG. All I gotta say is this hits every single time. It is mainstream. It is one of those fragrances that you could get at Macy's and you smell it, you're like, okay, well. But for some reason, whenever I put this on my skin, it just goes to work. It works so good. It always gets me the compliments. I can dress this up, I could dress it down, and it still works. Every single time I wear this, compliments is crazy because of my sillage. It projects really well, but most of the time I get compliments because I'm passing by somebody and they stop me and they're like, girl, you smell so good. And then they be thinking that I'm wearing something super complicated. No, it's just Lani Chisor. Ugh. If you're looking for a really solid, good signature scent, this is it because this could be a signature scent for sure. It could be a really good date night scent. It could be a really good, you know, everyday scent. Honestly, it's really nice. And the thing about it that I love the most is that praline note, the vanilla. Yo, this is so pretty. If you don't get anything from this list, I will honestly say definitely get Lani Trezor. Why? Because I think it's slowly discontinued so you can only find it on the discounters. So please get it before they start you know price gouging don't like that so definitely get this and then the bottle too like come on the bottle is just pretty lani trezor is one that got me so much compliments and that was it for the video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to stay on the lookout for my most complimented niche fragrances that i'll be uploading soon i hope you guys enjoyed this video if i have any discount codes and links i will link them in the description box below for y'all until we see each other again, don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Don't forget to subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I love each and every one of you guys. Until we see each other again, please, please, please stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances. Bye, cherry bombs. <laughs>